I think that may have been a one time occurrence. No, I'm not that. So the fun's begun. Again. And viewership on my blog just went up by 500 points. What you're seeing here is German hopscotch. <laughs> it's all gray, there's no chalk, and it's only done for a practical purpose. Chris Bowden, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.35 hours on Friday, July 12th, 2013. And we're taking apart a projection TV for parts. Yay, parts. What? Nothing. What? Nothing. What are you doing? Readjusting. Okay. Then going to go scrape floors. You okay. I'd rather take this apart. Doesn't require more than I know. One. I know. Fine, don't come out. Yay! So I need a mount for the solar death ray. You still got that uh, oscilloscope thing I haven't had a chance to read. Uh, we could do that, or I'd rather make something custom out of 8020 with as L adjustment. Or at least simple elevation adjustment. It'd be really cool if we could do it with uh, some kind of linear actuator. Careful, that's a mirror. <laughs> but I really want to get into production on some Willet Fry Solar Editions, and we're into the, like today, right now, would be an excellent time for that. What? Are you using just the mirrors out of these, or do you use the magnifying lens in the front here? We use everything out of it, them. It depends, yeah. yeah. Depends on how good they are. Woohoo! Oh, that's a lovely Sexy. mirror. Depends on the condition they're in, too. There's only a flame cabinet, like, right there, dude. Wow, heavy smokers. Get him an e-cig or something. Not him, these. Oh. Yeah. Whoever owned this. Yeah. You can see the coating. Yeah. I, I was also aware when I got into the deep house. It was... I don't know why this song's stuck in my head. <laughs> I don't know how to get the spark plug out of the hole. Uh, wow, how am I ever going to figure out how to get the spark plug out of the hole? You want to go get needle nose. You lack vision, sir. I'll show you how to get the spark plug out of the hole because I am a goddamn genius. Usually I can get them out if I angle the socket. Yeah, you can try that. No, I ain't got it. 
You know how you get the spark plug out of the hole? <laughs> Suck really hard? That's cheating. That's not cheating! That is so cheating. In what world is that possibly cheating? I'm just gonna get it on there. So you spin it. I can take all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just grab it because it snaps into the end of the plug. Why don't you use an old spark plug wire so we don't wear out the new ones? It's gonna wear it out? Really? Really? Well, you bend it's the contact work. and it doesn't seat all the way. Yeah. Where's the old? Here you go. It's dirty. Oh, we're going to get Chris dirty. I'm going to break a nail. Mm. Are you putting the elbow? Oh, I see. Cool spark plugs. You know what these are good for? Huh. Windows. <laughs> Especially the used ones. The used ones work a lot better. That's how you pull spark plugs out. Usually I just use a wrench, but okay. Hey, the needle knows I'd be done already. You only want to do that with the old wires. I had a printing instructor, Joe Boris, a million years ago. He said, turns out there's three ways to do just about anything. There's the right way, the wrong way, and the Bowden way. He always used to say it like that, the Bowden way. <laughs> that man gave me no end of shit. I loved him. Well, that, that, there's your problem. <laughs> now, wait a minute. What? You're going to gap them? Huh? You're going to gap them? No, they've come from a factory. Somebody did that already. Now, before you do that, yeah. you want to know how to put them in there without ever cross-threading them? I'll show you how I've always done it. You can tell me the many ways in which I'm an I'll, idiot. I'll show you a really, really do easy they way. they need to be gapped for this engine? Really? I guess not necessarily. Are they... Single tip or? It's usually a good idea to double check your gap in case the back is Yeah, nothing special. Okay. Ooh, needle tips. Uh, yeah, they're probably platinum. Here's how I've always done it. Now, I don't know much about cars, and I'm not very smart, but I put them in like that, spin it backwards, feel it, and then just the lightest of fingertip pressure. And if you do anything now, bad, it just won't go in. It's easy in this case because those are easily accessible. Yeah. The trick that I have works for weird places too. This is the first time I've ever done this. I don't, I don't know anything about spark plugs. But I, the instructions were on the, on the box. I just followed the instructions on the box. <laughs> I've never installed spark plugs before. I was, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about working on spark plugs because, I mean, you know, you start messing around with the braking system and things can go bad. I mean, you got to be really careful. <laughs> now, if I could figure out how to use a so can you teach me how to use a soccer wrench? No, I have wow. no idea. That's, that's a quality socket wrench there. That's too tight. It's not too tight. You just, you gotta compress the Snug thing. plus one quarter turn. Yeah, but what's snug? You're Finger tight. Yeah? Everything you want. Take these. Hi, Moose. Hi. What's up? I just did a customer satisfaction survey for Sprint. Yeah, I'm installing the new brake lines for your car. <laughs> it's not my car anymore. Oh, okay. Cylinder number one is always closest to the camshaft. Sprockets. Okay. I had that figured out when this said four, and this was the shortest wire. It's kind of obvious where they go. Because, it's very pretty. Because that won't that won't fit. Very well, you know, some people are really creative and 
Can I add People six inches to that? Too creative for their own good. <laughs> Looks right. It just doesn't feel right. No uh, convincing click. Yeah, I want I want that chunk. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Apparently, okay. the live stream hasn't been switched. Which one's two. <laughs> no, not that one. Real legit professional. That one felt right. Okay. Rotate them so the split points towards the coils. That? Yeah. Oh, did they come out the side? Yeah, you, yep. Bingo. Oh, okay. See, I've never done this before, so it's good that you're here to help me. Yeah. Ah! That feels way better. They may not want to stay in that little notch in the rubber. They will once we put the... Once you put the cap on, it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's on there, but it doesn't feel right. The only way I can tell it's on there is because I can feel it when it comes off. Oh, okay. So there's a little bit of a detent when you pull on it. That's all right. It's a spark plug. It'll just make a second little spark on top. I mean, what? <laughs> sprout. That won't hurt nothing. A little extra wire there. You think somebody who designed these for a living would have the lengths right? Yeah, especially since they went through the trouble of making them different lengths to start with. Yeah, you'd think if you're going to make them the right length, you'd actually make them the right length. I don't know. Alright, start it. <laughs> so ready to go. Blum. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right, what's next? I gotta look. See, with you teaching me, I could build a whole engine out of spare parts in Mom's kitchen. I did that. I installed spark plugs. I'm an automotive genius. What's this next? I'm looking. Huh? This was, uh, you know, early 90s and Late 80s, we would have had this done in a montage. You're the best around! <laughs> what are you doing? That's called a montage. TV. Yes. <laughs> montage! Oh, we stayed out in a montage. <laughs> Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime, which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket, available at thegeekgroup.org. We used to get paid smoking weed behind the generator. 1734 hours, what do we got? Well, we are, I would say, 85% together here on this car. Okay. We're it's starting only... to look like something. Yes, it definitely is. So, providing we get all the parts today, it should be driving today. Okay. We're not going to get all the parts today, though, are we? Uh, we might look out. All right. You never know. But it actually is coming together. That bracket back down low sucked. <laughs> but you got it? <laughs> yes, I did. Cool. Uh, Batman and I massaged this hard line over the heater core hose, and after we got it up and poking out, I was able to line up the bracket, and the bolt went right in. So, Cool. And the tile has arrived. The tile is finally here. They went all the way to Holland to get it. It's, uh, the Are they in the other parking lot? lot? All right. Well, we'll head over there. Howdy, sir. That's a fair bit of tile. That is a fair bit of tile. So this is everything for electronics? 
Uh, that is 450 tiles, which is what I was told to grab. So cool. that should be everything we need, yeah. All right. They're all the same color, right? As far as I can tell, it's all the same color, and it should be the correct color as well. As long as it's the right skew. As far as I can tell, it is. Yeah, 5.903 is what we want. You, you don't want to take too many of those. No, yeah. I'm just bringing them out here, so... <laughs> I stacked two and tried to lift it. I was like, I don't think so. No. <laughs> These are very dense tiles. Nobody likes lawyers. Not even lawyers like lawyers. Get on the floor. There's gonna be a whiteboard there. Alright. Put a dirty paint in there. So I'm gonna do all those cutouts work at one time. Wait, no. We're like going to the auto store. Alright. That used to be the outside wall. I know, but there's that one, then there's that one, and then there's one over. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it might have been an observer window. Huh? So the fun's begun. Go back in. And viewership on my blog just went up by 500 points. What you're seeing here is German hopscotch. <laughs> it's all gray, there's no chalk, and it's only done for a practical purpose. Yes. Time is 1900 hours. We have three lines in. Well, mostly. But the lines match up to the lines in there. All right. Yeah, I would have started, but. Okay. I have a system. Okay, you've got a system. 
I didn't yeah. want it. You can't argue with the system. I didn't ask for, your okay. for input. I just started. Mr. Wrong. Kidwell has arrived. Hello, everyone. Mike, you're supposed to be handing out stuff. And I have come up with the mo with the best fat joke ever. So how's it going, Moose? We're almost done. You having fun? It has been a very enjoyable conversation, yes. Then you walked in and we all you shut didn't up. You did bring up the Constitution once. <laughs> very proud of you. It's a living document, Paul. It's okay. <laughs> Please tell Yeah, me. tell me my mortgage is a living document. <laughs> I love that. that Depends. Do you have an adjustable rate mortgage? No. Then you don't have a living document. Okay. If it was adjustable, then yes. That would be my home equity loan. I am in good news right now. Don't mess it up. If you guys start talking anything about politics or law, that would change. <laughs> we have been warned. So what's your plan for the evening? What do you want to work on? Your fridge. Okay. We've got software that I need to change so we can change it so we can set the tweet set points. Well, Your get fridge set up. requires software. My fridge requires software. Yeah, his fridge requires software. His fridge is going to have a four, no, 20 character wide, four line display on it with a backlight and half inch high character, well, 0.4 inch high characters because I'm blind. That is it going to be web enabled so we can tell them no, to like see? No, no. Everybody wants web enabled. It web enabled. I told you, man. The board, the circuit turn I have this does not have any Ethernet. By, by, by the way, Paul? Yes. I need your help on something the next time you're here. What do you need? Uh, I need to do some LED controls for my arc riser tree. Absolutely. Tell me what you need. I will so I'm making a clock. A what? A clock. A clock. And clock. Yes. And the lights, I want to do different things on the hour. So for like okay. hour one to two, the blue lights will be on. Ooh, Three, I don't know. See, you want to do LEDs with a clock? That's really hard to do with an Arduino. There's pretty much no existing code for that kind of stuff at all. You're really in a new territory there. Now, you remember what I was telling you about the Ford Focus LEDs? Yeah. We, we can do things. <laughs> Okay, so I know we can do things, but I need to do things on something in the schedule. <laughs> okay, I need to know when you need it done. Uh, I'm, I'm, it needs to be done by September 1st. What about August? Yes. No, I got less than August. Okay. I got my next trip here that needs to be done. So if we can do it your next I need to know how many lights you want, or do you want them RGB? That'd be cool, but not required. A real man could do them CMYK. I don't even know what that means. Okay. That's for additive color. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I am magenta yellow black. Yeah. yeah. It took me until I was like 13 to realize that RGBs were not primary colors. I thought it was yellow, blue, and red for the ages. I actually had a 700 level college class at the University of Michigan, and that's the only thing we covered. Well, that's because so that's how they teach it. That's how, you know, your basic kindergarten, that's your three primary colors. Mm -hmm. I made it, so I made no, it all the way through elementary school before I realized RGB that. RGB is an additive system where you start with black and you add color in. Mm -hmm. CMY is a subtractive okay. where you have white light and you filter out what you and, want. Anyway, back to my clock. Yes. Um, so, besides grandfather clock, so okay. the answer is lots of lights. Give me a number. I don't know. Oh no, another one? Yep. It's Crap. a solid brick. Really? Yeah. 50 or 100? 50 or 100. If it was just one color, the Geek 3 LED board yeah, that'd do it. would do it. We did it all, we did a board once to trick out his car. Speaking of which, we're we're gonna gonna we're gonna gonna the rain and the lights yeah, we gotta do that. That's a low priority, but we'll get there. We got the parts for it. And that's what I was going to I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning!
Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.